Thanks, Matt. Our next stop taking us north to Jacksonville, Alabama, where we take a look at the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. This is a women's team coming off of a 12 and 17 year a season ago, losing in the quarterfinals in Huntsville this year, picked eighth in the preseason poll. They boasted one of the league's best defensive units last year, giving up just over 63 points per game. The offense, though, has to grow. Just 59 points per game scored last year. They're bringing back some weapons. Brianna Rhodes, 8.1 points per game. Maya Barnes, just under seven points. This is an experienced group, which has to make Rick Petrie happy. Seven players who played double-digit minutes at the D1 level a year ago. And they have a crucial early season with trips to Arizona State and Missouri. They open Conference USA play versus Kennesaw State on January 4th. Well, we are excited to be joined by Gamecocks head coach Rick Petrie, as well as Brianna Rhodes. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Well, Coach, I mentioned it a moment ago, experience, and I saw a glimmer in your eye. This is a team that was a little bit light on Division I experience last year, much different this year. How do you expect that to play a role this season? Well, I think, I think we'll be better early. You know, last year, frankly, we just weren't very good early, and, and a lot of that had to do with we only had three players returning with, uh, uh, experience in our program with double-digit minutes a game, and you know, we had seven uh, newcomers. Uh, who uh, all seven of those newcomers ended up playing double digit minutes a game for us. But uh, early on, trying to get all of those seven uh, to get on the same page, uh, you know, the, the, the humorous phrase was like herding cats, you know, was just because you just said all of them coming from different perspectives, different methods, uh, and, and they had had success where they had come from at the collegiate level, uh, whether it be junior college or division one. So trying to get everybody, Body on the same page was a struggle last year. Uh, and, and so this year, having seven players returning in our program with double digit minutes a game, it, it's not as strenuous getting everybody on the same page because we have people who can lead others. And last year, we had the blind leading the blind. We had no returning point guards with any experience last year for the first time in my career, other than seasons when I started a program. And so, whereas now we have two with experience returning. So, um, so we should be better early for sure. And then we'll just have to see how the season plays out beyond that. Coach, defense has always been a calling card for you and programs that you've coached. But as I mentioned, the offense, you want to see that improve. What steps have you taken to do just that? Well, uh, first of all, in the recruiting process, you know, one of the reasons we struggled scoring is because we struggled making perimeter shots. That's one of the reasons we struggled scoring. And so um, we brought in four kids who could all make perimeter shots. Uh, they made them where they came from. And so, uh, so offensively, uh, and, and they demonstrated frankly in practice too that we've had with those uh those uh you know three of them are, are active one is uh, has a health issue but all, all of them have demonstrated they can make a shot at this level in our competitive practice uh, environment so um so that's going to help us uh, and then frankly i just think that, that even our returning players because they're a year more experienced just have a higher level of security in who they are and one of the things we talked about before the season uh, actually back in the summer was that we wanted each of the returning players to elevate their games from the previous year to to be a better player this year than they were last year and and, and i would say most of our seven returners have demonstrated in practice that that they're working to do that so um so so that's why i have hope that offensively we will be able to put the ball in the basket as well or excuse me better and i hope we can be at least as good defensively Coach, you guys are making a trip to Arizona to open the season against Arizona State. I've heard you got some sightseeing planned for that trip. Why is it important to create incredible experiences for these young women on your squad? Well, because, you know, anytime uh, you, you ha have uh, a program, uh, you, you want to provide the best experiences you can for the kids in your program. Uh, understanding you're still on a business trip, but you also want to create, uh, you know, opportunities when you're going someplace that's, particularly far off the geography of where we are from. Uh, and, and most of the players, not all, most of the players in our program who are domestic are from this region of the country. Um, so, to, you know, to basically just expose them to something that, that I don't think any of them have ever seen. And so, you know, so we will be going to the Grand Canyon while we're out there and have given our kids a chance to experience something that, uh, that they never have. So uh, it, because we want to provide them with opportunities to 
have experiences that when they are finished here, they can look back on as special memories. Well, Coach, pack some water because I hear even in the month of November, it's still hot out in Arizona. <laughs> but, Coach, want to talk about Brianna. She's sitting next to you on the dais. This is a player that's been with this program for four years. Where have you seen her grow the most on and even off the court? Well, you know, on the court, she's uh, – Again, we talked in, in in July, excuse me, June, with our team about elevating, and she's demonstrating that she's elevating her game. Uh, and so, uh, so you know, we have some high expectations for her. I think with each year, she's gotten better. She did have uh, in her sophomore year, she she was derailed uh, by some health issues that got a super late start to her season uh, that year. But but I think she, there's no question that she's a better player today than she was at this time last year. That's not debatable. Uh, and she's better on both ends. And so so that's all we can – as a coach, all you can ask for is that your players progress. And uh, Bree has demonstrated to this point progression in terms of what we would like from her. Uh, and then also, you know, uh, now that she's in her fourth year, she is choosing to take more of a leadership role, which you hope that your fourth-year players will do because they should have the most investment because they've been here the longest. So – so, uh, so, so that that's something that you know that I've seen and our staff has seen growth in as well. Brandon, we your coach mentioned it—the elite offensive season that you put together a year ago. Coming into this season, what parts of your game, to use your coach's word, have you worked to elevate? To be honest, I'm just trying to do all the little things that my team needs for me. Like whenever we're playing against six, 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 five, I want to be able to do and do things to where I can make baskets and make those plays that maybe our guards or or the or our other teammates can't make. And I want to just be that person that they can be like look to for a basket or on the defensive end for a stop. Now, Brianna, I know when I flip on a game, you stand out defensively. You do the dirty work for this team. Why is that an area that you pride yourself on? It got to be in you. They're just one thing. Defense, just something that just got to be in you. And by me, oh, sorry, by me playing with Coach Petrie for four years, defense is a big thing. So if you don't play defense here, you're not going to, not saying you're not going to succeed, but you're not, it's not going to go well for you playing defense here if you don't play defense. So I just feel like playing defense this is something that's just got to be in you. Well, that is certainly music to Kelly Deo's ears over in the studio. But, Brianna, it's still early on this season, but you guys have gotten about two to three weeks worth of practice. And what do you expect to be different about this year's squad? I just hope that we come in with a different start. Last year, it took us a little minute to figure everything out as a team and to get everything rolling as a whole team. So I feel like by, by, by us having a lot of more returners, that everything should come out to a good start. Like Coach Petrie mentioned, with the four new players, pieces we have they're they're a big a big part of our team this year and I know for sure they're they're going to help us on the offensive and defensive end as we need them to well coach Petrie Brianna thanks for coming on the show today stay healthy look forward to watching y'all play throughout the season thank you for having us thank you well let's head over to the studio now Matt Warner Kelly Deo standing by and Kelly I've got to imagine you're salivating about a post playing some defense Literally music to my ears. I mean, I it's love all it. she talks about post play. Post play. We get it. No, I'm just, listen. Defense. Yes, no, that's right. Even better. Well, let's start with continuity yeah. because that's a rare commodity this day and age in college athletics. Mm-hmm. You heard Coach Petrie talk about last season. They're just trying to figure it out yeah. early on. And so many new pieces. Not an issue this year, seven returning contributors. And I think what he mentioned, too, is that he underestimated how difficult that would be. You know, it takes time to bring a team together. It takes a lot of patience. You're building that foundation, as we've talked about already. And and so this year, he has all these returners back. He added some great players from the portal that will make an early impact. But I I just think you're going to see success a lot earlier from this team. You're going to see a a higher level of confidence on the floor. And then if they can get that offense and defense as they talk, about in sync early on that's going to be huge you touch on that good defensive program but you got to score the ball yeah. and this day and age the three-point shot is so prevalent such a big part of these offenses mm-hmm. sounds like that was a point of emphasis as well yeah and I think I just want to add this one player um, Valentina Saric coming in at 6-2 so she's got some height which they needed yeah. but she can step out and hit the three-point ball she played for her for the Croatian national team in the offseason so a lot of experience there but she's one of those players that will make an immediate impact on this already uh, very high returner squad for this team so excellent job